Hi everyone, welcome to week one. I'll be your instructor for the course. Usually I like to provide instructor videos every week to help you give you a little more guidance on what you're looking at. Uh, some key reminders for the course that will be very helpful. Each week goes from Sunday morning till Saturday at 11 p.m. So make sure to submit all of your work by that point because it's very important to make sure that your work submitted on time given no late work's accepted. Go to the syllabus. In the syllabus you'll see the course schedule. In the course schedule we're only going to be doing one thing per week. So I want you to review what's in the course schedule and that'll give you a good outline of what I'm expecting every week for you to complete. Next thing I want you to do is if you have any questions always feel free to email me. I'll always respond back within six hours or less just so you have a response okay so for this week we're going to be looking at chapters one and two and the discussion board question with the discussion board question you want to make sure to have three paragraphs an APA formatted in-text citation and reference to support your work I'm looking at your analysis and I'm also looking at the support that you bring into your analysis a lot of people get confused and a lot of people just bring in a lot of outside information but really none of their analysis in it so make sure to really focus on those aspects in your work if you can do that it'll really help you to do well if you'd like I'm more than willing to pre-grade any of your work as well so you can send your initial post to me and say Nick how do you think about this what should I change around more than willing to assist okay so for this week, we're going to be looking at the role of financial assets and financial markets. A financial asset entitles the owner to future cash flows to be paid by the issuer as well to the liquidation value of the asset. So when the difference between those assets and markets are very important to evaluate. The two principal economic functions of a financial asset are transferring money from a surplus of savings to a borrower which is a lender and you want to redistribute in a way that makes it good for the markets to respond now financial markets provide the following three additional functions beyond that of a financial asset they provide a mechanism for determining the price they make assets more liquid and they reduce the cost of exchanging assets the costs associated with transactions are search costs and information costs. So you'll find that we're really evaluating these types of markets and how they can transfer funds from a borrower to a lender. I'm sorry, a saver to a lender. There are various ways to classify financial markets, money versus capital, debt versus equity, primary versus secondary, and cash versus derivative markets. The increased integration of financial markets throughout the world can be attributed to three factors that have really helped lead to a lot of prosperous times in the U.S. Deregulation of financial markets, more technology, which is increased transparency, make it much cheaper for everyone to uh, transact, and faster speeds. So you see a lot of these markets are responding very quickly because of the transmission mechanism and the last aspect is greater liquidity now regulation of the financial system and its various component sectors occur in almost all countries a useful way to organize the many instances of regulations is to see it to see it as how we're having four general forms how do we enforce information how do we regulate financial activity how do we restrict the activities of financial institutions? And how do the constraining freedoms and from foreign investors of influence our economy? So you'll find that these are many of the aspects that we're going to be looking at this week. Now, if you have any questions, email me. I love to interact with the class. I love to get involved. Um, have both my bachelor's and master's degree from Florida State. I'm sorry, both of my degrees or in economics where I got my masters from Florida State University and my bachelors from St. Louis University. I also worked at the Federal Reserve for two years so I have a lot of good skill involvement with the financial markets as well.
Look forward to a good class with everyone.